everybody thinks their house is special, but there is no place in college basketball like opening night at Rupp Arena. Tonight, the 2013-14 season gets underway as the number one Wildcats take on UNC Asheville. He played here in the 90s, as did his assistant, Brett Carey, against Kentucky's Tayshawn Prince team. And how about Andrew, uh, Harrison, Andrew Harrison, making his presence felt on possession number one. On the Kentucky bench, John Calipari, beginning his fifth season as Wildcat coach. You see the incredible progress this club made all the way to a national championship and now looking to bounce back this season. Young on the turnover, and he's fouled by Little John. Team position. Dakari Johnson, number 44, the seven-footer freshman out of Brooklyn, New York, on in this one. It's got the feel like there are going to be a lot of whistles. That adjustment. You won't see those hand checks, and you won't see those chucking of cutters going through the lane. Nice move down inside. Johnson couldn't finish. Boitras had it blocked, but stayed with it. Two quick offensive rebounds. The second one counted. Right work. What right. concern is it? Is it? Don Calipari can't be happy about it early on. I mean, in the middle of that zone out there, standing wide open, number 30 in the wide outfit right there, says, give me the ball, and there was nobody around at the foul, Jaleel Roberts. And Julius Randall is the kind of guy, 6'3", 170, who was back home after having sprained that ankle about two weeks ago. Randall got that offensive board and converted. He's somebody that has that kind of length. You don't think that they have the kind of quickness that Andrew Harrison does. Must be true that. Mm -hmm. And coming in for Kentucky is Alex Poitras. Eighth in the NCAA in blocks last year. Three a game. Speaking of blocks, enter Willie Cauley Stein. Kentucky's getting it done on the defensive end. What they need are a little offensive production right now. So Andrew Harrison. Down the free throw. Oh, good pass. How about Collie Stein again? Oh! And hustle results in five Wildcat points. What a great save in getting that rebound and getting it to Young and the, right in front of the Bulldog bench. For the years in watching all this college basketball that I've seen, the referees usually come bar, and they've got to enforce that rule. Young is warming up from deep. Lane. He's in there with Weeks, Little John, Cunningham, and Rossi, and how about that move? By Aaron Harrison with the hustle. Aaron Harrison, that is pretty. Kentucky leads by 10. Good look by Weeks, but as you mentioned, Larry, an even better catch. Speaking of looks, boy, you saw what Andrew Harrison can do. You're down inside, and the guy comes over to pick you up. One of the guards, he'll give it up. Either one of them will give it up. Nice move inside by Lee. Kentucky bench. And the Wildcats as a team, Larry, to speak to your point, nine of 18 from the free throw line. Ball down inside to Marcus Lee. Good ball face. Nice rebound inside. Marcus Lee got it to go. And that might be just one of the reasons that UNC Asheville has gone back to the zone. Hey, how about a point guard that's back? Randall did earlier, just a few minutes ago. You are correct, sir. All right, Johnson was left wide open. The lob didn't quite work, but the line for two. First half for the Cats. Cunningham goes to the bench, not to take them. And then they throw it away. from James Young. And which brother do they get? Watch Young right here. Boy, this is a terrific glove. Right there. Cauley Stein got it. But he comes right back and gets the steal. 
What a play by the freshmen. They've equaled their biggest lead. They're doing it with offense and with the D. 13 points, the margin is up. Their regular season opener. And how about the defense by the Wildcats? It's the Kentucky Farm Bureau UK defensive play of the game. An awful lot about this star-studded Kentucky recruiting class, and thanks to our friends from Scout with their rankings, when you look at it in that context, you see just how impressive it is. UNC Asheville in that 2-3 zone. That's the way to beat his own. Nice fake by Randall. Look at the body control by this guy who's 6'9". Here's Young. Boy, he got a good look at that. And what a nice play. Randall is shaking off that little ankle tweak. Look at that up and under. His strength carries him to the rim. And there are very few people that are going to be able to slow him down once he gets in that position. But Larry, he, he handles the ball so well, and he goes so fast and so hard, and he's able to pull up without creating that offensive foul contact. Big fella wanted that ball down low. Wow. Poitras stays with it. Second time out, we'll go back and show you this play by Poitras. He did get a block down on the inside by the seven-footer, Jaleel Roberts. Poitras didn't give up, though. He came right back after it was knocked into his face. He said, okay, try this one. It's Lee back in there now. Rousey, Little John. Boy, Lee went way up. It wasn't a slam. 2011 against Maris. He had 23 and 10. Randall tonight with 17 and 10. He recovered pretty well from that loss. <laughs> nice pass. Andrew Harrison to Marcus Lee. Nice lead. Another assist for Paulie Stein. Nice pass. How easy would it have been for Lee? go up with that shot, but that's exactly what we're talking about. That's got to go up. And we don't want to read too much into it as Cauley Stein gets another loose ball and leaves it for Johnson. First thing he does is nail a jumper. Poitras. Can you imagine? It? <laughs> you can hear him almost say, and this hurts have endured with all of the AAU basketball. There's oh. Aaron with another steal. And Andrew with the outlet. Harrison, Harrison to Young. Carolina Ashland did not want to do is have a game devolve into a running affair. The wow. general told us, he said, look, I'm going to stay away from that. If we do that, they'll kill us. Well, in the second half, it has been all Kentucky. How about Big Dakari Johnson spinning and coming back with the offhand? This Kentucky staff really works with its bigs. Kenny Payne and Orlando Antigua works with those guys on using their offhand. And they're really good at it. John Calipari takes a timeout because he just wants to sub five. And listen to the round of applause from this crowd. There's Payne talking to Zakari Johnson. Julius Randall among that group that goes to the bench with 23. Just two off the UK freshman scoring record of 25 set by Terrence Jones against East Tennessee State. touches on their first W of the year. Those two guys have earned it. Boythrus with 10 and 13. Randall 23 and 15. 
First time since 2012 the two Wildcats have had a double double in the same game and that's our Time Warner enjoy better. I think we're going to see a lot of double doubles this week. I think we are. We're going to be talking a lot about and so and so sets a record. <laughs> and so and so is approaching the record. Hawkins dumps it down. What a nice move. Marcus Lee. Came back to the left a little bit. Watch this maneuver right here. Bang, bang, down inside. Draw the foul. Get the contact. Get the kick out. Bigger staff couldn't get it to go. And here comes Hawkins. Wow! John Hood. The perfect feed to lead. And this kind of summed up what kind of night it was for the Wildcats. As John Hood found Marcus Lee for a signature play. Good start for Kentucky tonight. Second half has been uh, really the type of game I think a lot of these fans are going to see from this Cat Club. First half was a little bit of a struggle. They scored 41 points in that first half, but they have been burying UNC Asheville in the second half. Bigger staff with a nice spin. And he got it inside to Baduskas. And that's the last basket of the game. Nick McDevitt and John Calipari exchanging handshakes.